One of the highlights of opening day was the national anthem performed by Kane Callis, the son of legendary Hall of Fame voice of the Phillies, Harry Callis. We were able to catch up with Kane before the game to reflect on his childhood, spent growing up around the ballpark, and also, of course, the spirit of his father, a real Philadelphia treasure. I was here the day that they introduced the statue, and it, it's such a touching tribute that the fans really came together. It's kind of a grassroots thing for the fans just coming together, making this statue happen. Philly's being so accommodating about it, and it, it's, it's amazing. What would your dad say about you right now, do you think, if he was able to talk to us? I mean, I, I'm hoping he would be proud. You know, what, my proudest moment as a son, uh, and one of the proudest moments in my life, is I was 15 years old the first time I sang the national anthem at a Phillies game. And, you know, my dad had heard me sing in, in plays and uh, musicals, things like that. But he didn't even, we didn't even know until a couple weeks before. And he was so nervous that I was singing the <laughs> anthem, and, you know, because this was the biggest stage I'd ever performed at uh, in my life. And uh, I, was, I sang the anthem, and afterwards he just came up to me and said, son, I'm so proud of you. And that was one of the most touching uh, things ever. So I, I, I'm hoping he'd be looking down with pride right now. King and I remember when... Uh... You were much younger, and your two brothers joined your dad in the broadcast booth for a game. Do you remember that? I do remember. I do, yes. Uh, and they put me on play-by-play. -play. And uh, I the story I remember, I believe, was it was Albert Pujols' rookie season. <laughs> and uh, somehow I, I didn't pronounce his name properly. All right, he's not out of the woods yet, because who's up, Kane? Now batting is Albert Pujolis. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a slam to left field. Oh, Pat Burrell makes the diving catch in left field Amazing. to end the inning. Kane, did you ever think about following your in your father's footsteps? I did. I did. I, I've loved broadcasting, uh, you know, my and sports my entire life. And I studied broadcast journalism at University of Miami. Uh, and I think that one day uh, it could be it could be in the cards for me. Well, funny you mentioned in the cards because right <laughs> now the cards are. <laughs> Are your business a professional poker player? Absolutely, yeah. I've been doing that for eight years, so uh, I love I love poker. It's such an intellectual game, but at the same time, it's a game of, of people's emotions. So I kind of get both sides of that. I play on the internet, but I also go to the World Series Poker, World Poker Tour, and play live. So right now, I'm loving working for myself, traveling the world. But one day, I do see myself going into broadcasting or perhaps sportscasting. Well, we can't tell you how happy we are to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and we look forward to singing. Today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, obviously you shared something else with your dad, and that's your voice. Your dad used to love to sing. Yeah, he did. He did. And, uh, you know, just hearing him sing High Hopes uh, whenever the Phillies win that next playoff game and then going with him, you know, just to the piano bar to hear him sing some Sinatra. I mean, that's a, <laughs> my love of music really came from my dad, you know, because really? it was growing up listening to him, uh, you know, sing to me and sing to everybody. He, you know, he was an entertainer. He loved to entertain and to... Uh, you know, sing at the bar, and you know, that's really what I think inspired me to get into, into singing. So both broadcasting and singing were really inspired by my father, and uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to inherit uh, a voice that uh, could work with that as well. Well, you obviously are a much more accomplished singer professionally than your dad was, <laughs> uh, but do you have characteristics of your dad when you sing? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, the you know, rich, kind of deeper kind of sound, you know. Uh, my father was more of a bass, is what I'd classify him in opera, whereas I'm a baritone. Uh, so a little bit of a difference. But yeah, I mean, I certainly, you know, uh, just be having that voice. And also, from a young age, I was accustomed to being with my father in more formal settings, uh, you know, making speeches, things like that. So that kind of helped me get that stage experience that I needed in order to be able to perform in a large, large group. Hey, tell me that story again about the first time that you were really shared a microphone with. So your the dad. first time I shared a microphone with my dad, I, don't, I must have been three at the time, two or three, and I came up. He brought me up to the broadcast booth with him, and he told me to keep score in his in his score sheet. And I don't know how he knew what was going on in the game with all the scribbling and stars and nonsense I wrote. But then he just put me on air. Just gave me a pair of headphones, put me on air. I had a mic. I didn't know what to do. I'm three at the time, so I say, it's out of here, right? That, that's all I know how to say. Uh, sure enough, the next at bat, swing and a long drive to deep left center field. That ball is out of here. The batter hit a home run. And Whitey immediately said to my father, well, you know what, Harry? Uh, your son, he can call the game pretty well. Not only can he call it, he can call it ahead of time. <laughs> so, <laughs> what a great moment. Yeah, it was. It was oh. hilarious.